Bitches than you're used to, Uncle. Oh. My mother's been looking for you. You ride for King's Landing today. Before you go, you will call on Lord and Lady Stark and offer your sympathies. What good will my sympathies do then? None. But it is expected of you. Your absence has already been noted. The boy means nothing to me. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. <laughs> One word, and I'll hit you again. I'm telling Mother. Oh. Go. Tell her. But first you will get to Lord and Lady Stark, and you will fall on your knees in front of them and tell them how very sorry you are, that you are at their service and that all your prayers are with them. Do you understand? You can't. Do you understand? Prince will remember that, little lord. I hope so. <laughs> if he forgets, be a good dog and remind him. <laughs> ah, time for breakfast. <laughs> Your father beat you. <laughs> but my mother hit harder. <laughs> and? You once loved a woman many years ago, but it turned out badly, so you've never let yourself love again. Oh, wait, that's me. Your mother was a whore. <laughs> Don't talk about my mother and father ever. Or I will carve your eyes from your head. <laughs> Half a mind to go with you. What do you say? Just you and me on the King's Road, swords at our sides, a couple of tavern wenches to warm our beds tonight. You'd have asked me 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> there was that one. Oh, what was her name? That common girl of yours. Great big tits you could bury your face in. <laughs> Bessie. She was one of yours. Bessie. Thank the gods for Bessie. And their tits. <laughs>